Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to another Tentalica game. Let's hope he's got nothing in his bank. No, nope, he's going to have a wizard. He's level 8 though, so that's encouraging. He's got an agility 4 skink. A block frenzy saurus, a block, block guard. Is that a niggle? Niggle. He's marked for death. Um... But he's only got one, two, three, four, five, six. He's got twelve plates. Three cheerleaders. Um, only just one more than he's lost. So, kind of sucks that he'll probably buy a wizard, but he might not even buy a wizard. Thirteen players. Claw Palmer. Some guards. Some mighty blow. Brilliant ball carry. It's starting to take shape now, isn't it? It's just that. Just taking too many too many draws and too many losses. I mean, one was an absolute mega dicing, I remember. A couple of the draws should have been wins. Maybe even three of the draws should have been wins. I mean, if this had been somewhat fairer, could have been on 22-3-1, which would be a really good record, wouldn't it? But never mind. Right, I'm going to... Um oh, wow, There's um, he's got another niggle, has he? Oh yeah, the agility four skinks and niggles. He's all, he's really marked for death, then, isn't he? Holy shit! Agility four niggle skink is absolutely um, marked for death. <laughs> oh, hello, Fashbinder. The 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 things open. The commentary room is open for you and Team Fashtastic. Um, Fashbinder, hello. Are you speaking? I can't hear you. Oh, hello. Hey, we've got Fashbinder, the premier Blood Bowl commentator of our time. Oh, man, I'm going to be like that famous commentator for that other sports game. <laughs> yeah. You know you know the one? No. <laughs> Ian Chappell, that's the one. I've got no idea who he is. He does cricket. Ah, right, right. What about uh, Richie? No. He does cricket as well? can't remember his name. I don't know anything about cricket. I guess Blood Bowl really? commentary is a bit like cricket commentary, isn't it? Because there's like not a lot happening a lot of the time. <laughs> yeah. That's an analysis of miscellaneous comments for the occasional. Wow, it's a six. He smashed it. Oh, it's LBW. Yorked him. <laughs> what was that? Oh, man. Oh man, I wish I wish I wish I'd got you for the World Cup. But then I wish the World Cup happened now when I would be better and I would know you were the best. Um but at the time I was like so someone else was on, weren't they? Balsha was on at the same time as you and it was just an absolute clusterfuck and everyone hated it. So I was like, I just want to do them by myself. Three is a crowd. Yeah. Yeah, so it was because of that I did them by myself because everyone hated that match. So maybe if it had just been you on that time I would have got you on again. But never mind. Maybe I'd have had you on. Yeah, that would have been better. It'd been better if I'd, <laughs> it'd been better if we'd both been on. But never mind. Someone commented on one of the World Cup matches commentary saying it was the worst commentary he'd ever heard in his life and stuff. And I was like, a bit harsh one. It was my first try. You know, I didn't know what I was oh, doing. Man. But um, I'm actually doing another Blood Bowl intro game as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's there a good was idea. criticism today that uh, a Billy Nick, in fact, said. Fashion did the intro guide and it was the best. And Lupac said, oh, they've only got one. We should still refer people to Gamora. And I was like, oh, <laughs> we, should, we should do more then. Yeah, we should. Maybe we with should. a real team, it might be less shit then. Yeah. Less yeah. dicing. Yeah, maybe uh, real teams. Could do. We could do it with them. Um, we could do it with NAF style teams. That could be good, couldn't 1100 it? 1100 TV. Yeah. Yeah, 1100, six skills, all that kind of stuff. Oh baby. I mean, right, anyway, ready. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go and concentrate on the game now. So um okay. apologies to chat. Um and I will leave you with Fashbinder the Fashbinder the Great. So <laughs> cheers. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, but it's something people pick up without too much of an issue. Uh, I think the real learning comes from when to do things and why. And so, yeah, a guide, wouldn't call it a beginner's guide, but just a guide. Or a pro tips guide, maybe. Let people know what's going on, why we're doing things. And uh, that's what I try to do when saying stuff about games that I'm watching. Oh, I also had the good idea, well, let's not tell Jim. But uh, for the people that make it to this Season 2 shenanigans, uh, for the champ letter, rather than have Mercy Flush write up a bunch of lies, uh, I think if I maybe do a, a recap stream, you know, spend... I don't know, so some amount of time analysing the actions of the coaches that have made it and, you know, make some sort of assessment, you know, before the knockout starts. So, for example, there's... <laughs> no, it goes to Jim. And it shouldn't. He's, uh, he's the one actually putting the effort to play. It takes no effort to watch a game of Blood Bowl. Oh, man. An aggressive setup from Jim. Gets surfed on a blitz. Oh, surfs the, uh... Surfs a Saurus at the cost of a lineman. And by lineman, I mean a rotter. He's 100% take. Well, I don't know about 100% take. Maybe set up to take it. On a quick snap, he can do it without getting counter-surfed. So, a uh, good, good set up here. Uh, I could host him, but I think my host button has now gone. Uh, this new Twitch overlay thing, I don't, I don't even see it. Oh, and then I'll have to log in. No, that'll be bad also. Pouring rain and a glorious deep pick for the lizard. Uh, giving up an extra couple of LOS boxes and wise also. So the uh, full line should be banged down and the Frenzy Saurus surfed. To be honest, though, getting uh, pushes on the two two dust blocks to get it in position to surf it, and then having to put your rock on the sideline to surf them out, I don't reckon that percentage, you know, getting on a two die block consecutively, getting a push, that's only two success. Two success on a two die block is 55%. Uh, so he's flipping a coin twice and hoping to get heads twice uh, to be able to get that surf. And then not one in nine with the rod of its surf, so maybe that's so low percentage you're better off just making a pom blitz. Which is really bad. Well, not bad, but it's uh, it's probably a low percentage in terms of getting the player off the field. Well, it's probably still not, because the pom blitz will have what, three success on the block. On this guy, two success, but it's niggled. If I was streaming, I'd be able to bring up the armor injury table. But this would be a 55% on the block to to get the removal, I think, because he was middle. Uh, and then to get the success, it was just, I guess, two heads as well. And uh, by heads, I mean flipping a coin and getting two heads. So it'd be fairly similar, actually, to just make the Pomblets versus surfing the guy with a lower risk of not getting counter surf. So it looks probably fine to not surf him. Hello. Holy shit. Thanks for the follow, by the way, whoever followed. It was, uh, Die Bear. Hey, while you're here. Oh, man, so... <laughs> Easy game? Easy game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, there's a chance to make it now, isn't there? If I get as many games as that. Oh, double one for winnings. What a load of shit. <laughs> Three AV breaks into concession. Unbelievable, yeah. After he put five guys on the LOS. Yeah, absolutely. Deserved it. Yep. 100%. And the guard was in the wrong spot, too. Yeah. Yep. Right, let's get more guard. 
I guess I could have taken Mighty Blow on him and then one of them would get Mighty Blow Claw, but I think I just definitely want the Garda. Um, three guard. I can have him number one now. Um, right. A sad game for Mash Vagos. That's the only bad thing. Um, but yeah, no glory MVP. <laughs> I've only got one. Get on. Only got one Gaz. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he only got one cousin in his one turn. <laughs> right, buy a rotter. Let's just sack him. Oh, actually, it's better to sack one that's played more games who's near a retirement, isn't it? No, not in this format. <laughs> no, but do you know what I mean? It, though? it is in other formats, yes. Yeah, if you're being strictly... In this format, it won't matter. No, but if you're being strictly, um, strictly the most competitive you could possibly be, you would get rid of the guy who's played more. Um, You're right. Yeah, so let's let's do that in the interest of being a hundred percent tryhardy. Um, <laughs> I love the fact that you've got to confirm sacking a cheerleader, but not, but not confirm conceding <laughs> in the pre-match phase. <laughs> Just cyanide things. Right. Well, there you go. That was good, wasn't it? Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, leave a like, and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>